welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we are going to be doing a little unboxing and the standard review for an Army Painter paint set. So let's just bust this open to begin with. Now, this is going to be the D&D Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments. And this particular one is the Underdark paint set. You might have seen I've unboxed slash reviewed a few of these previously on the channel. And if you're just used to my Army Painter reviews, they're gonna be fairly similar. I like Army Painter paints. I love the heavy pigment. I like how the paint goes on the mod models. I like the consistency of the paint. I just enjoy the paint. And then the next thing from that is I just love these paint sets. This is how I got started in the miniature painting world. Without it, I'm not entirely sure I'd have known where to begin. They aim paint sets specifically at games with a palette that just paints a lot of the miniatures in those games in a, in a really good way. This is an expansion on the D&D range. It's a little subset, so it's adding some more colours. If you're painting D&D, you might have started with one of the previous sets they've brought out, and this is going to complement that range. Now, the other thing they're doing with the D&D sets is they include an exclusive miniature. This one includes exclusive Drizzit Do Erden miniature. I don't know what a Drizzit is, but... I guess if you play D&D, that might matter. Let me know in the comments below what that is. Does that matter? Why is that important? Who knows? But I guess this is kind of what he should look like. Is he? I don't know. Never played D&D to this day. Now, the colours you get in this is Lich Blue. Really rich, dark blue there. Xanifer Blue. That's almost like a, a pale, bluey, sea green sort of colour. Under Dark Grey. Hmm, wonder how that differs to Necromancer Cloak. Succubus Red, a dark red. <sighs> something purple deep purple oh this looks good sturge tan a nice different uh tan of paleish flesh like a tanned flesh basically and i that's new that's new to this this range at least ancient mummy a yellowy white color quite good for mummy robes no doubt rigid leather that looks like a really dark brown Ooh, dark brown's good oh some slime and then durgar metal that looks a bit like iron that sort of thing. I'll just hold up the blurb in case anybody wants to pause and read on that. But yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same as every other video. I think these paints go well if you're, especially if you're new to painting and need some help in buying a set because it can be quite daunting when you start painting. Like, where do you begin? And then if you play D and D and you want to get into painting, this is exactly the sort of place you can begin. So here's the official painting series. It shows you the, these are the other two sets. So you got an Albert, which I painted on the channel link. Well, link. Go and check on the channel. Look for Albert on the channel. He's done. And this was the other guy. Who was that guy? Uh, Boo and somebody. I just don't play D and D, and I didn't paint that one. Uh, Minsk, Minsk, Minsk and Boo. So it shows you what what colours you would have got in this set, and you also got this exclusive miniature. What's this? Oh, they, they did a brush set as well. I unboxed that on the channel. Decent brushes. I've used them for a couple of models. No complaints whatsoever. And that's this model, and it shows you what colours. It used and there's the Albert, which as I mentioned, who needs the paper instructions when I did it on the channel? You guys can go and look. <gasps> oh, they did it too, but mine's better. Just, just saying, guys, just saying. Uh, <laughs> oh, and some information about this all. And then, yeah, so I've basically told you about the paints. I, I enjoy the paints, I think they, they work well. And there's some sweet colours in here. I wonder, this doesn't mention if they're uh, unique in this set, but I, for one, don't own this colour putrid slime in any of my ranges hmm. and then what's this is this the iron rough iron style one can't quite tell it looks like a really really dark metal which is quite handy to have and then one thing they've done in this dnd &D range which i do quite like although they don't fit on my paint shelf which has upset me over time but i really like the tiny bottle uh, bottles it saves you a bit of money and i've never well actually i tell a lie i've just started running out of my my large bottles having been painting for three or four years now i've run out of a couple but these little ones would last me three years i'd expect at minimum they don't dry up these dropper bottles really good Whoa, it's splitting out already look at that color wow love that color maybe that's something i should do let me know in the comments below if when I do these unboxings, if you'd like to see the colour in person, I'm going to get that everywhere, aren't I? But the little bottles last forever. They don't really dry up and then you don't use much. Like that's that would be plenty to paint most things. So you can imagine how long that would last. So I think the little bottles are better. Put a little bit of saving to us and take up way less space. Let's look at some more of these cool colours. Look at that blue. Wow. I really, I really, really like vibrant colours. Whoa, the mummy yellow. That's so bright as well. Although it's not quite that bright in person, it's a bit of a 
dull yellow, but it's still, it's really vivid, I, I guess is the word, but using that super cool rigid leather, it's like a ready brown, looks nice, needs a good shake. Is that the tan? Well, it's quite pink, isn't it? It's more pink than I would have expected. I thought it was going to be a bit brown. Let me just wipe this off my hand before I get it all over. And then this is the exclusive miniature. Let's have a look at that. That's, it's less bent. No, it's a little bit bent. These miniatures just, they need a little bit of work. There's videos on the channel. If you guys don't know how to straighten up these miniatures, it takes seconds. And I did it with the owl bear. Wish I'd filmed it for you, but I've done some others previously. A little bit of hot water you can heat that up and bend it all back. Needs a little bit of filing down as well. But other than that, the details there looks pretty nice actually. Just needs a bit of tidying up. So it's a bit rough around the edges, a little bit of bends to fix, but it's actually pretty sweet looking. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me do a tutorial on old Drizzy. Drizzy, Drizzy, Drizzit, whatever his name was, whatever he does. What is he? Is an elf? Can't tell, dark elf? Let me know that in the comments below. Anyway, guys, that's, that's it. I just wanted to, it's it's more of a do you know this exists video than an unboxing or review, but it is what it is. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.